Chronic knee pain for the vast majority of people could be avoided if you address the root problem, which is usually muscular imbalances that call, cause premature degradation to the joints and the structures surrounding the knee. Now, of course, that's not every single person. There are other exceptions, but for the vast majority of people, that's usually what's going to cause us the most grief about our knees. And so we are going to address that today and we're gonna see if we can't give you a little bit of knee relief. Now, first thing we gotta do is a litmus test. Now, what I'm doing is a narrow squat. You may not be able to get this low and that's okay. That's not important how low you get. We just wanna go to as low as we can and see if we feel any pain during any point of that range of motion. If you do feel pain, stop. Another option, if you are Someone who considers yourself fit and you want to give yourself a little bit more of a challenge, you can do a single leg squat. You just get yourself on a, a box or any kind of elevation that's sturdy and you just go down as low as you can, see if you can tap your heel on the ground and come back up. Now the trick to this one is, are your knees caving in? Are your feet staying flat? And can you stay balanced? You might weeble and wobble like I do, but can you stay balanced as you do this without knee pain? Why don't you guys go ahead and pause the video, do a few of these, see what you come up with. I'm gonna make an assumption and assume that if you are watching this video, then you came up with some knee pain as you were doing those narrow squats or those single leg squats. So let's go ahead and start tackling some of these muscles that can and will cause our knee grief if they are too tight. We're gonna start off with our calves. This is a calf smash. If you have a lacrosse ball and a foam roller and you wanna get really aggressive with this calf smash, and you're welcome to do it the way I'm doing it on the video. But if you just have a lacrosse ball or you just have a foam roller, either of these will work. Now use a combination of things. Just go ahead and rock your foot back and forth across your calf. Go ahead and flick your foot as you have pressure on it. We just want to apply some stimulus to the belly of your calf, not down low by your Achilles tendon, but right there in the muscle so that we help release some of the tension that your calves might be harboring. So I want you guys to go ahead and pause the video and do two minutes for each calf. Wait on it. Now we're gonna cover an area that is a huge problem area for most 21st century dwellers because a lot of us spend most of our day in a seated position which can allow these muscles to get overly tight and basically turn off the entire backside of our body, which is a problem for our knees. So I want you guys to go ahead and smash out these quads. Now you can do both legs at the same time if you have really, really tight quads or you can roll over it one leg at a time if you feel like getting a little bit more aggressive with it. And if you don't have a foam roller, just do the tried and true quad stretch where you stand up and you grab your ankle and you try to pull your heel to your butt. The idea is to wail on these quads and get those things loose because if they stay tight they're gonna pull on our knees way too much. Now if you find a spot that's particularly heinous on your quads you're welcome to bend your knee on that spot that's got a lot of tension. I want you guys to spend at least two minutes on each quads. If this really gives you grief spend three minutes here. Pause the video, wail on them. Now let's go over another area that is going to cause your knee a lot of grief if left unattended. This is an IT band smash. Now guys, I'll just tell you right now, this one's not going to feel great. So I'm starting with my foot on the ground and my elbow on the ground to help dictate how much pressure I actually have on this IT band. And if you're not sure where it's at, it's literally if you just go to whatever pair of pants you're wearing, I'm assuming that you're not wearing yoga pants, wherever that seam is on the outside of your pants, like if you're just wearing jeans, that's where your IT band is. It's just on the side of your leg. Now, if you wanna get more aggressive with this, or if you can tolerate getting more aggressive with this, go ahead and put both feet up in the air and go from the top of your knee, basically to your pocket. So if you find one spot that's really, really tender and you can stomach it, try bending your knees as you're going up and down on this IT band. So guys, like I said, this one isn't gonna feel great, but it is important that you spend some time here because these IT bands are very strong and they will cause your knee grief if left unattended. So spend at least two minutes here. If it feels really tight, go for three. Pause the video. Now we're gonna cover a hamstring stretch. Now, if you're stuck at a desk for most of the day, these can also get dormant and just get a little bit overly tight. So I started off in a superhero stretch and then I put my back knee down and then I'm sitting back and what I'm trying to do is not drop my foot like that. I wanna point my toe up to the ceiling as hard as I can. I wanna try to straighten out the knee that's in front of me as much as I can. Now you can see I'm pretty tight. I'm gonna bring my leg back just to make it a little bit more aggressive. 
And you can also, if you cannot get your fingers on the ground, you can also put your hands on top of your thighs or on top of your shins. You just gotta find a spot where you get a good stretch. Try to keep your back nice and straight as you're doing this hamstring stretch. Let's go ahead and go for two minutes on each side. Pause the video, stretch it out. This last stretch is called a knee gap, and you wanna hit specific spots on the back of your knee. These are the tendons on the outside and on the inside of your knee. We're gonna start on the inside tendon. You're just gonna put that lacrosse ball right on it, shove it up there as high as you can, and then close your knee around it, and you're just gonna to try to drive your knee as far forward as possible. This is gonna smash out our calf, our hamstring, but then it's also going to give us a little bit of space in our knee if it's been basically jammed up on itself. Now go to the same thing on the outside of your knee. Don't put this right in the middle of your knee. There are nerves and arteries and veins there that you will occlude and that's definitely something we want to avoid. On the outside tendon, on the inside tendon, you can usually feel them and just try to drive your knee as far forward as you can. I want you guys to go ahead and spend one minute on each tendon on each leg. Pause the video. So we spent quite a bit of time stretching all the muscles that are gonna cause our knee extra tension and extra grief to help loosen it up. But now it's time to activate the muscles that are supposed to be pulling their own weight to help keep our knee happy and healthy for many, many moons. This is a simple glute bridge. Now, it's not a very complicated exercise, but it is paramount to getting your butt cheeks fired up and they are the key to making sure that your knees stay healthy for a long, long time. I want you guys to accumulate three minutes at least of this glute bridge. You don't have to do it in one shot, you can accumulate it. If you have a lot of knee pain and you've been dealing with for a while, I want you to go five minutes. Pause the video, get them in there. The second activation exercise that we wanna do is called a tree pose. Now it requires a little bit more balance and stability, but that's why we're doing it. I want you guys to go ahead and stand on one leg for two minutes on each side. Now, here's the trick. Your hip is gonna wanna fall off to the side. Imagine like if you're holding a kid with one arm, your hip usually juts out to the side to help accommodate the weight of the child. I want you to not do that as you're doing this tree pose. I want you to stand up nice and tall, like a tree, and I want you to grab the ground with your foot as hard as you can. Like imagine you were climbing a tree and you were in one of the higher limbs, you wanna make sure you don't fall out. You grab the limb to make sure that you're not gonna go anywhere. It's exactly what I want you to do here because I want you to feel these tree poses in your butt cheeks, especially that the leg that you're standing on. So go ahead and pause the video and accumulate two minutes on each side. Doesn't matter how you break it up, just accumulate two minutes on each side and don't let your hip fall out like mine just did. So go ahead and pause your videos, get it in there. We've done our stretches and we've done our activation. Now it's time to integrate these muscles that we just stretched out and activated the right way into some bigger movement pattern. We're gonna do that by doing a hip hinge. It's very simple, guys. You keep your back flat, stick your bottom back, and then make your glutes bring you back up to a standing position. I want you to accumulate 30 reps doing this hip hinge. Go ahead and pause the video, get your rear in gear. And now it's time for the moment of truth. We're gonna go back to our litmus test. We've done our stretches, our activations, and we've integrated everything into a larger movement to see if we've helped create knee pain relief. So I want you to go ahead and do whatever you did at the get-go. If it was narrow squats, great, do your narrow squats. If you did single leg squats, do your single leg squats. Hopefully, all these stretches, activations, and integration exercise has helped you create some relief for your knee pain. Now guys, remember, if it helped you and you are better than when you started, that's awesome, but you're gonna need to do this every day to help train your body to move the right way, which is pain-free. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that it has helped you create more knee pain relief. If it did, please be sure to share it with someone who needs this same information. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video so that we can get all this good information into more people's hands so we can help people create more pain-free movement in their day-to-day -day activities. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.